In this lecture, I will specify two different targets and then I'm going to start the footprinting and reconnaissance process. Now, during this section, we're going to use different tools and different websites that allow us to gather as much information about our targets. The most important point in this section is that to make sure that the information that you are gathering are passive information. And passive information means it, it's not involving any connection with, with the target. So you are collecting information from public website. That's why footprinting and reconnaissance do not request, doesn't request any approval uh, from the customer. Those are public information available for anyone and you can utilize them the way you want it. So let's take two different websites. I'm going to take the CH website, the official website, as a secure website. And I'm going to take another website. It's called Ultra Mutual. This is one of the websites for testing. I mean, you're going to definitely need to go or visit this website when you need to test SQL injection, you need to test cross-site scripting. This is a site built for uh, testing. And I'm going to see at the beginning how much information I can gather about this one. I also going to use a site that has been recently removed. There was a company website and uh, this website is not longer is no longer available. And I'm going to show you if the site is not there anymore. Can we retrieve information about it? So we have three different targets. Let's see what information we can get. So I will start with this specific website, which is Easy Council official website. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm just collecting information about the website, considering that what if Easy Council was my target? So they hired me to do an ethical hacking through their website. First, before going through any third party website or any information, I should check their website itself. So if this is my target, I should check, do you have anything you know, interesting in their website. Uh, in general, I'm not looking for a specific uh, information, but I'm just checking. So for instance, I can check their contact information or I can check their career. Do they have any career uh, tab? Are they offering any job? Career is very useful because if you check the career tab in any website, you will get to know what technology they are using. So if they are looking for a Linux administrator, so this will give you an indication that Maybe they are uh, having Linux infrastructure or they are looking for an exchange administrator. So let's see, it doesn't seem that they have anything related to career. Do they have anything related to contact information? So I can check the contact. Let's see what they have here. So, um, Academia, no. You know, they are a security website, so you should not expect uh, much information posted. So. We should start by getting an information about the website in general, what kind of business they are providing. Do they have any contact information? Some website will have people, uh, a member of the board with their name and, and emails and phone numbers. This is very, very dangerous. And people can, or hackers can utilize that and manipulate that in different ways. So, but here it doesn't seem that we have anything that can be used just information about their partner and information about this process great let's move to the next next step next step is to gather information about their domain so they are registered in easycouncil.org this is their domain let me see what i can get about this domain and how it can be useful so getting to google and i can check any who who is source uh, website usually when you register for any domain, if you are a company and you need to buy a domain where you can host your website, you need to put some information about your organization. Who's the people in charge? Who will be the one responsible for renewing the domain? Uh, where is the company location? The IP address, the location. This, this information could be useful, but some information will, will keep this, uh, some company will keep some, this information uh, posted and available for anyone and some company will will request to have this information private and will have to pay extra fees for that. So I will go to whois.sc and this is one of the websites that collect information about domain registration. This is very, very important. And I'm going to tell you why in a few seconds. And I'm just going to paste the domain here and let me see what I can get about this website. Now, 
some information will be quite important, like the registration dates. Of course, he will give you technical information. For instance, the IP of the website. This is the IP of the website. And he could have more than one IP. Where is this website is hosted? It hosted in Virginia. Uh, uh, what else do we have? Let's go down here and let's check the registration date. This is important and I'm going to tell you why in a few seconds. This domain has been created on 2001 and it will expire in 2003. This is a secure domain. I mean, uh, sometimes people will register a domain for their company and they'll keep renew every year. So you can see that the expiration will be the end of the year or during this year. So you can wait until the domain is expired and then he can buy this domain. It's not costly, it will cost like $10 or something. And then he will offer to resell this domain to the company with very big money. And because the company depends on the, this domain right now and the email depends on this domain, they're going to have to pay for that. So checking the domain registration and expiration, this is quite important because some people can misuse that. Another point that is very important to check would be uh, for instance, uh, the contact information. When anyone registers a domain, he should leave a contact information. Now, some people who leave emails, like here, they left the registration email, a comp uh, an email related to network solution, which is the ISP. Now, this cannot be used by a hacker because this is a, it's not an easy counsel email or it's not a free email. But in many occasions, when you check, and I'm going to show you uh, uh, like an example right now. You will find that the registration email, it's someone that he left his Gmail account or Hotmail account as the contact information for this domain. And because you're going to see how easy it is, is to crack someone's email. So someone can crack his email and accordingly take uh, control on the website just because the email was available here and I was able to, to hack this email. But People who are wise enough to do not share contact email and keep the email of the network provider or the ISP, uh, the service provider, this actually will be more secure. So information here was not very useful, but still I'm going to show you other website and I'm going to see if we can get something from there or not. We have some address, we have some contact, but still this is a phone number, a fax number. Uh, I was able to get some information, but I don't think that is very valuable information. But I will get some valuable information about this specific website. Now, <clears throat> let's <clears throat> take another website, which is, for instance, uh, let's take uh, the website that has been removed. Okay, the site is removed, but the domain is still registered. So let me take this one and let me see what information can I get. And uh, would it be different than the previous uh, search? So going here and let me type this website or this domain and let me uh, check the registration of this domain. So I still have the same information which is the IP. Uh, this is the IP of the website. This is the location. Uh, let's go down to the registration information. As you can see, I have here uh, this domain will just will, will expire in its yeah this is the expiration it will expire in 2018 which is quite near so it means that you know if i'm following is this is the expiration date i can wait until it expire and then i can enroll in this domain and then i can uh, it's not illegal actually what you are doing it's legal one domain became free and you bought it but you bought it because you know that the company forget to renew the domain and then you can use it usually the ISP will keep one month not not giving the domain for new registration but eventually they will leave it so if the administrator is not smart enough of this company that he's renewing every year you can take advantage of that now another point here that can be misused will be the email as you can see, he left the company email for uh, contact, for the registration email. This is actually very, very dangerous because if I can compromise this specific email, I can get access to or I can get, uh, I can compromise uh, the website. So sometimes it's even worse that you can find 
that people left Gmail account or Hotmail account, which is quite easier to compromise. So this is two different examples about uh, the information that you may get from the domain registration. Domain is very important because with a when, when a, especially on a company uh, 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 infrastructure. So if you, you are a company and you bought a domain, you're going to associate your company email with this domain. And then if you lost it, it will affect your business very bad. Getting back to Easy Council, let's see more information that we can get about Easy Council. So if I take the domain one more time, which is easycouncil.org, and I try to get some technical information about this domain or about this website, it's hosted where, what operating system the server that includes this web website include. A very, very, very useful website is Netcraft. If you search for netcraft.com, you're going to find this website that allow you to gather a lot of technical information. Sorry about that. That uh, can be misused to uh, find vulnerability and weakness and so on. So let's see. So if we here in the Netcraft, there is an option called what what's that site is running. So I'm going to here type or paste the Easy Council website and check what do I have here. And let's see, as you can see, this site has many subsites. They have aspen.easycouncil.org, the library, ideas, search. So as you can see, I was able to get all the subsites from it. And each site, it's hosted since when and on what kind of operating system. So the server that holds this specific website is a Linux server. Now this is kind of secure, but still you can work on it because for instance, the last one, which is uh, uh, drmeasycouncil.org. It's running on Windows Server 2008, which is critical, actually. I saw some bank website running on Windows Server 2000 and 2003. This is fatal. This can be hacked in few steps, very, very easy. So this is technical information. I was able to gather those technical information without uh, contacting my victim. See, you know, the information that I get, after that, in a few steps, I'm going to start getting information about the operating system. And if, we, and if I am successfully, and I was able to get some information about weakness related to Windows Server 2008, then I can utilize that to compromise this website. So, Netcraft, one of the very powerful websites that allow you to gather information about the victim. Let's try this website, Ultra Mutual. Let's see this website is running on what? And again, this is a vulnerable website. They created that so you can test it. So let's see what we can get from here. Paste and let's look up. And let's see what information we have here. So as you can see, this is some information about the registration, the IP. Uh, let's go down. Do we have any information about the domain? Uh, site technology. Yeah, it, it run using ASP.NET on a Microsoft Windows.com. Um, some information, but not too much. But actually, it's not because it's a really vulnerable website. But they created that. Actually, I believe IBM created this website. So you can use it for uh, testing. So, one of the things that you can use will be Netcraft to gather some technical information about the website.